All right, folks, here for round two of our Innistrad 8-4 draft with our Trader's Blood deck. We're going to go ahead and choose to play first. Yee, and get a hand we're going to have to ship. All right, well, we have a three-drop, a four-drop, and a five-drop, and a six-drop. But I'm not sure we can afford to mull this. At least I don't think I'm going to go down to five. Um, the nice thing about our first round is that, you know, we didn't play a single Trader's Blood, so our opponents don't know about it if they're checking out the replays. Oh, yikes. Okay. That is definitely not what we wanted to see turn one. Uh, assuming we can peel two more land, though, we're pretty set. I mean, we hold off the Trader's Blood until we can get the Demon Mail Hauberk. Oh, he kept a one lander? Okay, things just got a little bit more interesting. Because next time I lay the Demon Mail, and, uh... <laughs> I think I just suit up the... Oh, he drew a land, never mind. Well, there goes that idea. I mean, I st I'm still going to play the Demon Mail second turn. Or, I mean, fourth turn. <clears throat> so he's going to play something for three here. Oh, man, if I had a Geist Flame during combat step, I would just blow that up and he wouldn't be able to do anything. Oh, he's got a green up, but he has a Prey Upon, I suppose. Interesting. Or not a prey upon, what's it called? Ranger's Guile. Okay, so if he has Ranger's Guile, that could be pretty bad for us here. Um, I think our plan is to wait for him to tap out and then do the Traitor's Blood thing. Uh, hopefully we draw land so we can do the Walking Corpse and um, Traitor's Blood in the same turn. Hmm. You know, I'm still scared of that, so I'm going to play the Manor Gargoyle and just wait for him to tap out. If he has Bonds of Faith, that's pretty bad for us. I mean, I guess the Abyssinian Priest can tap it, but I'm fine with that if he wants to spend a turn tapping our guy. Let's see here, what's he going to do? I really want him to use his green mana up before I, before I do the old uh, Traitor's Blood. Huh. So, I guess I'm going to go ahead and play the Geist Catcher's Rig after he taps down my Mana Gargoyle. He didn't use his green, though. Um, not too worried about Flyers since I have the Mana Gargoyle, and if he ever plays a Flyer that I'm really concerned about, I'll just simply Traitor's Blood it away. He's probably thinking, like, Naturalize is really good against us right now, because it is. <laughs> Still need him to tap that green. I'm almost positive he has Ranger's Guile in hand. <clears throat> interesting, 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 I say. Do, 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 do. Okay, so he's going to pass the turn again. We drew another mountain. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll go to combat. Yep, tap that down. Question is, do I want to tackle this? He could have rebuke. Um... We're going to do it, though. If he has the rebuke, he has the rebuke. And this way, that'll make him tap out so I can do the old Traitor's Blood. I guess he could have Spidery Grasp. That'd be pretty bad, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Life's not fair sometimes. Okay, well... That's unfortunate. We'll play the Walking Corpse. Uh, we'll take his Priest, and we'll suit up our uh, Walking Corpse. Get out of here. Man, he still has six cards in hand. Yikes. 
Hmm. Maybe maybe it was just spider grasp he had. I should have maybe just went for it. Oh god, Mayor of Aber Aberbrook. So we have a lot of draws we can do though, but we knew do need to draw a spell here. Preferably traitorous blood. <laughs> uh, that is not one of them. So all his humans are two twos. Yep, swing for the fences. I could just leave my guys back, but he has five cards in hand. I really need to get aggressive here. And I still have one turn to find something to deal with the ma uh, the Hal pack. Hmm. Yep. Well, we mold the five, and or sorry, we mold the six and kept a really sketch hand. I mean, we did get there on lands, but let's see, one, two, three, four. So we've drawn actually two spells and the rest land. That's pretty bad. Yeah, eight land and five spells isn't going to cut it. Especially when you start with uh, four of those spells in your hand. Wow, right? We kept a three dropped. We kept a three drop, a four drop, a five drop, and a six drop. We've drawn walking corpse and six land. So I guess I can... Eh. I mean, it happens, but this seems like bad luck. I mean, I think he's scared of something. I think he might not attack. <sighs> sure. Put your 2-2 two -two in. 3-3, three -three, I guess. Reckless Waif. So is there any combination of spells that we can draw to actually win here? I mean, we're in a pretty bad spot. I guess I should have just held back the Reckless Wave and passed the turn. Just so I could be able to flip his alpha. That was another pretty bad play. Hmm. Yep, not going so hot for us here. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Getting attacked by his spirit token. Yep, that happens. Let's see if he plays anything. Grizzled Outcast, sure. Put two to in, sure. Yeah, we definitely should have held back. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just concede this game here, I think. No, that's not right. We have, like, Rage Thrower and stuff we can draw. I mean, every turn the game goes longer, we're also more likely to lose, but Rage Thrower, Rage Thrower would make things go a lot better. We need to draw, like, Traitor's Blood, Rage Thrower, Traitor's Blood. Oh god, I wish I had a Rolling Temblor. Yep, equip up his spirit. Let's see what he gets. Maybe just a land? Mill me a land, that'd be sweet. Whoa, he's attacking with his 5-5. Five five. Alright, let's see what he mills first. Mountain? Okay, that's good. Um, Do I want to block the 5-5? Five five? I think I'm going to take the hit here. It's probably a bad idea. I go to 7, which means the spirit is going to get lethal pretty quickly. But I just need to draw something. Yep, put in another wolf. Alright, so we lost this game. Concede that one up. And I actually think our deck is fine against him. I mean, I want might want to pump, put in the bump in the night just for the, uh, just for the, uh, what's it called? Werewolf factor. Actually, I'm going to add in the Corpse Lunge. That's pretty good against... Um, What's-his-face? Mayor. And I'll take out... Maybe one of the Demon Males. That only leaves us with a few sack outlets, though. Um, hmm. Questions, decisions. 
I'm going to take out the Brain Weevil. He lays out guys pretty quickly, the Brain Weevil's probably not going to do too much. We're going to choose to play first. Yikes. Oh, such a sketch hand, man. Um, we, I mean, we have the turn one Reckless Wave, but then we have six drops. Huh. I think I'm going to ship it. All right, well, not very exciting, but we're going to have to keep this six. He mulled the six as well, so that's good for us, I suppose. Oh man, if we had turn one Reckless Wave into turn two Village Ironsmith, I'd feel so much better. Don't play a Doom Traveler. Ah! Alright. Well, we're going to need some help, I think. But, it's still possible. If he goes Mayor here, I cry. Priest is not so bad, I suppose. Sure, we'll draw land. Pass the turn. This lets him flip our guy, but, I mean, we couldn't do anything else anyway. Really could use some help. Sure, you can draw your mayor. Yep. I need to draw something to be able to cast. Oh, that counts as something. Disciple. Yep, tap our guy. And then um, next turn we play the Pitchburn Devils, and then the following turn we can sack the Pitchburn, deal three to the mayor. Yep, you pass the turn. Ooh, Alter's Reap too. Huh. Tap down our Iron Fang. We don't attack. Alright, play the Pitchburn. So he's going to get a wolf still, but as long as he doesn't have Pump or uh, Ranger's Guile, we should be able to deal with his Hell Pack. <sighs> I'm assuming he doesn't have the Ranger's Guile because he decided to tap down our Iron Fang instead of, you know, attacking and... Okay, so he gets a wolf. Ooh, Traitor's Blood. That is a good draw. So we have a few options here. Um, think, think, think. So if we tack in with the pitch burn, he probably be blocks with the grizzled outcast. Um, well, maybe, yeah. Here's what I'm going to I'm going to traitor's blood the grizzled outcast. I'm going to Traitor's Blood the uh, Grizzled Outcast, attack with my Pitchburn Devils and my Grizzled Outcast now, and my Iron Fang. Um, and then I'm going to Alter's Reap the Grizzled Outcast, thereby I'll be having played two spells, so his Hell Pack's going to flip. Um, and so if I don't draw land with the uh, Alter's Reap, I don't need to sack the Pitchburn Devils to kill the Hell Pack. If that makes sense. <laughs> So let's see how he blocks here. I mean, he doesn't have any good blocks. I guess he could, like, quadruple or triple block my guy here, but that doesn't seem very good. Alright, so he's going to take it's 9 damage. Nice, I'll take it. Gets a 1-1 flyer, that's fine. We're going to sack his Grizzled Outcast, draw 2 cards. Did not draw a spell. Or, I mean, a land. But his guy's going to flip anyway. Meaning he's not going to get another 2-2. And we have a live... Uh, live catch... Life guys, guys catches rig for his spirit. So things are looking on the up and up for us. He should probably be attacking with this. I guess he's going to leave it back to block. Okay, sure. Like, if he flips his mayor here... I can deadweight the Havasinian Priest as well. Oh, he's playing a spell. Kinder Catch, sure. Okay, so now we don't necessarily need to um, 
to uh, kill the mayor this turn. We can simply lay down a fatty. Actually, if we attack with a pitch burn, he blocks with a kinder catch. Yeah, we'll attack. Our pitch burn has pretty good blocks for us right now. I mean, we have a dead weight and a harvest pyre live as well. So if he blocks, we can like shoot the mayor if we really wanted. Deal three more to the kinder catch or something. And if he simply blocks with the Kinder Catch, I'm just going to, you know, straight up trade for it. I'll play the Geist Catcher's Rig, shoot the Spirit. Um, his turn, he probably just passes. Okay, so he took it. I find that a little bit interesting. We'll play our Rig, shoot his uh, Spirit. Pass the turn. Now, he might just pass the turn back. Um, if he does, his Mayor becomes a 3-3. Three, three. And the priest goes back to a 1 2. Uh, so during the upkeep, we can harvest pyre the mayor, deadweight the Abyssinian priest. Okay, so he. Ooh, Grizzle, or Kessage Cage Breakers. That's a pretty good one. Hmm. Um, so his mayor is making this a little bit bigger, which is unfortunate. But you know what? We're going to draw Trader's Blood. I'm calling it right now Trader's Blood. Go. Oh, he also has mana to tap with his Abyssinian Priest. That's too bad. That's not Traitor's Blood. Uh, I think we need to deal with the Kessig, which is unfortunate. We'll go to combat and see if he taps one of our guys. Probably tapping the Pitch Burn. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> Attack with the guy's Catcher. He blocks with Kinder Catch. Yuck, that's no good. Um, actually, that's actually fine, isn't it? He blocks with Kinder Catch. I dead weight after the fact. It'll put four cards in my graveyard. I can sack the Pitch Burn Devils, kill the Mayor, and Harvest Pyre out the Kessig. That leaves we with these two, and him with the Abyssinian Priest, the Wolf, and the Kessig. I don't know if that's a very good plan. Mm. Conversely, we can attack with the Geist Catcher. He blocks with the Kinder Catch. I Harvest Pyre for two. No, that's not good, no. Hmm. Attack with the Geist Catcher. He blocks with the Kinder Catch. Any way I do this, I'm ending. I'm having a disciple in a village, Ironsmith, to his. I have a Sinian priest, Wolf. But I'm losing one, two, three, four, and he's only losing three. And then it's up to top deck, and I don't know if I like that. Uh, no, we'll do it. This is assuming he blocks with Kinder Catch. Okay, so he does. So I dead weight. Well, what happens if I just sack the pitch burn and kill it? I'm losing out on one damage, though. No, this is the more efficient way, I think. I'm gonna sack Ironsmith, deal three to the mayor. Gain some life. Harvest Pyre, his guy, for four. Um, I don't need anything in my graveyard, right? Yeah. It's fine. Alright, well, now we're on top deck wars. So let's see what happens. Mayor and Kessig Cage Breakers. Yikes. Oh, please don't play something big. Oh, okay. Main phase. 
spirit of the or midnight hunting so we don't flip our guy. <laughs> I don't understand that because I think he wants us to be able to flip it. Oh god, land. Okay, well, we'll pass the turn here. Uh, we still have a healthy life cushion, so we're not too worried. Okay, so he starts beating in for four turn. We need to draw something. And quickly. Attack, attack. Go to 20. Oh, he passes the turn. Huh. And we drew a corpse lunge. Oh, good thing I kept the Geist Catcher in there, eh? Taps our wolf. Yep. Oh, we pass. I'll take four here if he attacks with the uh, creatures. Oh, he's not attacking with his wolf. Interesting. Yeah, we'll take your two. End of turn, I'm going to corpse lunge the Abyssinian Priest if he doesn't play something more scary. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't have the uh, Guile, or Spider Spawning, or not Spider Spawnings, whatever, Spider's Reach, or whatever, spider Grasp. <laughs> Ooh, Drew and Instigator Gang, alright. Back in business, my folks. Back in business. Attack for four, hopefully he doesn't have a spider Grasp. I guess he would have saved the Priest, right? Yeah. I guess I shouldn't have six, because if he has like a rebuke or something, I better save it so I can sack the <laughs> sack with the disciple. <laughs> no blocks. Nice. He goes to four. All right. So now we have a lot of live outs. Uh, rage throws an out. Traitor's blood is yeah an out. I guess they're not outs. They're live draws because <laughs> we're in a pretty favorable favorable position here. question is, do I attack with the Instigator Gang? Like, it's going to have Trample, but if he has a Rebuke or something, we're just simply dead. Well, I guess that helps. Now we don't even need it, right? Take the Spirit. All our guys are now lethal. Every single one of these is lethal. If he has the Rebuke, that's fine. Alright, we got there. Nice draws, nice draws. He still has a buttload of weenies, so the Buzz Craze Neonate is not going to be good. Um, what, didn't I put the Diagraph Ghoul in? I thought I did. Oh, no, wait, that's right, last match I did. Actually, I think our deck's still fine against this guy, right? Three Traitor's Bloods with all the sack outlets, some decent removal spells and whatnot. Yeah. I'm going to roll with it. We did not see the Ranger's Guile, so maybe I'm just playing around nothing for nothing. Ooh, aggressive. Super aggressive. Alright, well, he's probably going to be able to f not... Or he's probably going to be able to play a spell next turn since he went turn one Avicinian pr Avicin's Pilgrim. So I'm guessing our Waif is probably not going to flip. But hey, you never know. He could uh, have to do like a Midnight Haunting main phase. That'd be pretty sweet. Alright. Tap in for three. Bonds of Faith. Okay, so we get in for three. <laughs> oh, good play, kid. Uh, yeah. I will take this every day. I will take this every day. Um, I guess I'm gonna go with the another waif. Like if he had to, if he had to bonds of faith, my reckless waif there, I'm gonna play another one. Maybe he'll bonds of faith this one too. Okay, so he's not gonna play a spell. So one of them can't attack. But we still have the other one. He's not blocking. Oh, okay. So that's nice. Um. Question is, do I want to play the Walking Corpse? Like, he hasn't shown us anything. He might have, like, a Grizzled Outcast, which would be pretty bad. But I'm not going to sandbag spells to to wait and flip my guy. The fact that he used a Bonds of Faith on the uh, on the Reckless Wave is pretty good for me. 
Grizzled Outcasts is bad for us, but we do have all the land we need and the Into the Maw of Hell. Okay, Somberwald Spider, that's fine. Guys, Catcher's Rig, yep. So we're going to have to pass the turn, we have a bunch of 6 drops in hand. <clears throat> um, no sack outlets so far, and no way to sack, or er, and no traitor's bloods. Ooh, there's a grizzled outcast. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna kill this forest and his grizzled outcast next turn because right now his guy's flipping into a huge seven-seven. Yeah, that'll be sweet. Killing this only forest. Please don't have ranger's guile. Don't attack with that either. I'll take the 7 here. I'm not too worried. Yeah, tap that force. Get that Ranger's Guile out of here. Alter's Reap. Okay, there we go. Kaboom. Nice land, broski. Nice land. Oh, now he can't even pump his Dark Thicket Wolf. Yikes. That's pretty bad for him. Yep, play your white spells. <laughs> Damn. Damn! We need swamps. ASAP. Um, I mean, I could Alter's Reap my Merciless Predator right now. That doesn't seem very good, though. Uh, I think... I'm going to lay out the, the guy's catcher's rig right now. I mean, we know he has Midnight Haunting, but uh, I'm going to get a fat body out there for him to deal with. Oh, he does have the Haunting right now? Jesus. Okay, well, that was pretty bad. And he drew a forest. Luckily, we're not, we're not taking too much damage here from the spirits. Like, we have a lot of time to draw something. Oh, is this another Bonds of Faith? I don't know why he tap his forest to be. Oh, travel preparations! Holy crap! Okay, well, we're gonna need some help and help quick, because right now we're taking six in the air. Uh, we need a traitorous blood. That's what we need. Man, I didn't. Exp ah, he must have just drawn that too. Yep, our guys flip. Whatever, whatever. Pitchburn Devils. Okay, well, whew, there's a way to deal with it. Uh, we'll go to combat. Tap one of our guys. Alrighty. Um, no affordable attacks, unfortunately. Sack our pitch burn, kill one of the flyers, draw two cards, corpse lunge on our, yes, okay, so we have ways to deal now. Um, we're still in a little bit of, the, of trouble, we're going to go to four life here and he's going to have a tapper, but we can play instigator gang and corpse lunge next turn. Hopefully he doesn't have anything to play here. Yikes, okay. Oh, what? Mayor? Jesus. Alright, we'll go to combat. Yeah, you tap a guy. I obviously don't attack. I play the instigator gang. And I upkeep, kill your spirit. Upkeep Corpse Lunge. That way his mayor doesn't flip. At least on his turn. Or on my turn, on my upkeep. Um, yikes. We need to draw a Swamp. Pretty badly. On the bright side, we're going to be able to attack with our Reckless Waif. Because it will have 4 power now. Ugh, that guy's catcher's rig with the midnight. Ay, ay, ay. 
pretty poor play. Pretty poor play. So assuming we draw a swamp, <laughs> assuming we draw a swamp, I mean, we have, what, infinite left in our deck. Oh, man, he must have drew a spell. He's thinking, tanking hard. Man, sick game. Maybe we should just block the Grizzled Outcast and prevent seven of the damage. Like, that just doesn't seem right, though. I mean, I guess... Yeah, I guess, actually, it's a reckless wave, and it's not doing much the rest of the game, right? Like, we could be at a healthy cushion of 11 life right now. Yeah, that must have been the correct play. I mean, I think the Geist Catchers was still okay, but certainly not blocking the 11-11 was... Or, sorry, the 7-7 was something, something of a uh, not-smart... All right, well, he's tanking pretty hard here. Maybe he'll clock out. He has six minutes. He's still 15. <laughs> God, we're going to we're gonna lose. Or we have a high potential to lose, even if he bonds to faith our reckless wave turn two. That seems suboptimal. What do we want to draw? Deadweight's good for mayor. What else is good? Drawing a swamp and attacking in and him blocking is pretty good. Um, I mean, I guess we have a ton of a ton of outs. All right, so he's passing the turn. It looks like it's okay. His mayor still doesn't flip. Swamp, yeah, okay. So he's gonna tap our guy's catcher. I think, yeah, I definitely swing in with the reckless wave here, or at least the one that's bonds of faith. Oh, he's adding white. What's happening here? Yes. Attacking for four. Pray to God he blocks. Because right now that... Yeah, four power trades with any of these. Oh, but he has to block with the Dark Thicket Wolf if he wants to trade. Oh God, I pray to God he does. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Two, four, six, seven. Block, please. Block, please. Do a block. I guess it'd be okay with rebuke, too. Get rebuke out of his hand and kill the mayor. Do some blocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it right now. Alright, well, he's tanking again. Four and a half minutes left. I mean, I don't think he's going to use four, four more minutes, but there's always the chance. Please take, or please don't take. Ah, oh, jeez, he took it. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, alive. Like, if I don't play my Morkrep Banshee here, he taps, you know, he can... Like, all werewolves flip, he can tap my guy and whatnot. Ugh. I think I have to play the Morkrep Banshee. Yep. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. That's so unfortunate. He probably just passes here. Werewolves flip. That's gonna negate this guy. Ugh. Poops, I say. Poops! If I draw a Traitor's Blood and this is flipped, though, I do get a 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> so there's that. Um, so I have one turn to find three damage worth... Oh, he's gonna play a spell. Okay. Alright. I got time. I got time! Keep playing spells, buddy. Keep playing spells. Alright. Lots of things are still active, I suppose, right? Deadweight? Mm. Is that the only thing I'm hoping on? What other removal do I have? Traitor's Blood's no good right now. I have no sack outlets. Two, 
two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine lands, so there's eight left in my deck. Eight out of twenty-one. I don't know the exact... Almost... Well, it's less than a third. Demon Mail Hauberk. Well, shit. Nice combo with the Morkrep Banshee Kid. Go to combat. Watch him tap down a guy. Alright, so if I attack with a Reckless Wave here, he most likely blocks and trades with something. I still have four blockers. No, I'll have three if he taps one of my guys. And he has one, two, three, four, five creatures to attack with. And they all have it. Well, no, they don't all have two power. So I attack with a Waif. What happens then? Like, he taps this. Or, sorry, he taps this. I have these three blockers. I can block three creatures. I go to one, assuming no pump. Yes, yes, this is correct. This is correct. I think he has to block here. I mean, going to six does not seem very good for him. Right? Is that the right play? Yeah, because the mayor can't... Yeah. The mayor only does one damage if he attacks. You know what sucks? This card right here. Owning my face off right now. Alright, well, he took four more. I play the Hauberk. I have three Trader's Bloods I can draw. Cross your fingers, kids. Cross your fingers. Like, if he drew Bonds of Faith, if he drew any pump spell, he wins. I think I had to take that risk, right? I guess I didn't have to. Ugh, that was... Uh, in retrospect, that was probably a bad play, too, because he has... Because, I mean, if I just lay this down past the turn, I have three Traitor's Bloods I can draw. Yeah, that can't can't have been correct. That was another misplay. I think I owe this loss if I lose here to myself. <sighs> Tap a guy, spider grasp, swing. Yes, you win if you do that. The other uh, match has been long done. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so what are my misplays this game? I think the first was definitely not blocking the Grizzled Outcast. Seven life would have been a huge life swing at this point. Like, if I had 11 more life right now, this game would basically be over for him, I suppose. Uh, the second thing was playing the guy's catcher's rig on, on nearly an empty board. I mean, he had tappers and stuff. Oh, wow, okay. Well, if he has pump, like I said, he wins. Um, does it really matter where I block? Probably not, I suppose. I mean, more sure. Sure, no, wait, that can't be right. Instigator block gang blocks the pillow, you know, make him pump there. Okay, I'll go to one here if he has no pump. Please just tap three and pump your Dark Thicket Wolf. Please? Pretty please? Pretty, pretty please. Okay, and well, if he's tanking this long, he must not have anything. Maybe he's just going to time out. He has 24 seconds. Like, he has Moment of Heroism... Spidery Grasp, even Ranger's Guile. Okay, so he doesn't have anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flip, flip, flip. I think we got there, guys. Whew. Very close game. I definitely made some suboptimal plays. Let's get the Traitorous Blood just for uh, lol factors. Oh, I think he's going to let us time out. He's incredibly tilting. Alright, well... 
Whew, we got there, guys. So we'll see you back for the final round, round three of our Trader's Blood deck.